This tutorial is about setting up ModVSGI Express with Apache. Um, I will try to cover this on other operating systems such as FreeBSD, uh, but I, I think that it's really similar the same way on other operating systems, just it's a bit different how you use the install commands, but I will try to cover them later. However, uh, what, we, what we need to do now is that um, I'm going to log in with my root account because we need to have the we need to install some stuff and then we need to be wrote. The first thing you want to get if you haven't already got it is uh, the Apache 2 which is done with this command. And uh, we are going to install so okay, how this is how it works we need to have some things we need to have and it's Apache first of all and then we need to install some uh, uh, some extra things on Apache to be able to make the mod uh, VSG Express to work in order of that and I think we refer to the documentation I switch over to another machine here and uh, this is the website you visit for the mod VSGI uh, which we will use in Express mode and uh, here you can read about the requirements. Uh, we will require the additional one here, which is uh, Apache 2 NPM Worker and Apache 2 Threaded Dev. The main difference, I believe, is that if you're using Apache, which is a fork mode variant, then you will need these two. But if you use what I do in that is threaded one, you need to install these two and use the same apt get install command on these two lines. We go back to the server and we type Apache 2 npm worker and then we need the other packet also apt get install Apache 2 threaded dev yeah we want that one also And um, this is the Apache part. What is so good about Mod VSGI Express then? The good thing is that you don't need to make advanced manual configuration and you can just launch your, uh, your uh, Python web application in no time. So it will use Apache Mod VSGI, but it, you, will exp uh, you, will, uh, you will put them up in development or or in production, the sa it's the same, both of them are the same actually, it's production I would say and you get it up in no time actually alright, um, after these two are installed uh, we can proceed with installing the, the Python module here you will need to add some extra things, Python is already shipped in, uh, in, uh, in Ubuntu you can see it if I do like this, Python we have the 2.7.6 version here and uh, what I need now is the Python pipe, or how to explain it, and how to pronounce it. It's, it's a package management system which installs Python packages easily, and we can manage them easily with that also. So apt get install python pipe. This is used, uh, we use that one to be able to fetch the uh, mod VSGI module. Uh, what I'm doing now, actually, as you say, should not be confused with Apache mod VSGI lib that uh, uh, that you download and configure manually, because this is uh, another approach which you will which will be clear in a few moments when we reach a result. All right, so you will need additional Python development things, um, but I will show you what happens if you forget them. This can be good to know. All right, let's say that I try to install with the pipe command uh, with this okay I'm going to install mod VSGI Express now which is mod VSGI module what I'm when I say mod VSGI I mean that we are going to get this module and this is done with this command p install mod VSGI 
so this installs ModVSGI basically inside of Python. However, uh, this won't work now because I'm missing the development things we need for Python, but I want to show you how it looks like when it fails in case you run into this problem. All right, uh, you can see it's trying to include some Python header files here in the in the source code. Since since this is not to, uh, since we are missing them, we need to install them, and this is done with pkg uh, sorry apt get install python dev. This is all we need. And once that is installed, we have the required header files and all those things to be able to compile the mod VSGI. Alright, so now I run the command again. Pipe install mod VSGI. Now this should work actually if I run this command. And we are absolutely getting a bit further than before. So uh, now we have uh, Apache up, we have uh, the, the mod VSGI installed. Uh, what we need now is to create a, a simple Python web application to see if it's running. But first of all, we're going to test our server to see that everything works. First off, let's go to another machine. Uh, I know that the IP address now is uh, this one over here and the, no the Apache 2 instance works but keep in mind that we are not using VS VSGI Express now um, so let's try to make a test run uh, if you scroll down a bit here you will see that to verify the installation was successful you can use this command now when you use mod VSTI express you simply invoke this command on a command line and then you use followed by the command start express as uh, start server so let's see if this works first of all where am I I'm in the root directory I can tell by now that this will fail for sure um, another thing to remember that as long as you are the user root you need to specify which user uh, which user and what group the, the mod VSGI Express should run as. So, uh, first of all, let me show you the uh, the failing here. I think that for granted that this will fail because the users that I will apply will not have permissions to this directory. Uh, so, um, so, for example, mod uh, vsti express start server uh, it says uh, here uh, when running as the root user it is required to options user and group okay that is good to keep in mind in case that you're running the user root if you were a normal user you could just run it without any problem but uh, now since we are root we need to apply user equals www data and then we need to apply group equals www data and then it tells us that this, the mod vsti server now is running on the local host on port 8000 uh, i'm pretty sure that this won't work but let let's have a look uh, when i try to access this server now on port 8000 it will uh, just load, 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 nothing happens. So let's stop there. Uh, if you want to see the error log, it's located in temp, mod, vsti, localhost, all this, error log, warning. I'm not quite sure if the log is still there if I abort now, but let's try. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm not I'm pretty sure that this warning here means that we have a warning here. I'm not quite sure, but I believe that it's such smart that it's warned like that. Uh, if I type cat tmp mod vsdi and this and we take error log and I look into it, it tells us here that the daemon process, uh, let's see here, permission denied 
mod VST, I'm able to change static, uh, change working directory to root. So uh, we are not permitted to be there actually. So what we can do, which would be a better option, would be to go to cd var ww, for example, and in here I can create. Uh, uh, in here I could uh, just run it from there for example or create another directory but uh, let's try it here uh, and then uh, let's do like this my bsti directory they seem to have uh, same permissions and things like that so let's go to the myvsti folder and from here I can try mod vsti start server I forgot the user wrote now user, I mean the user ww data group equals ww I see a typo here, I apologize for this one, I was making two equals Let's see if this works better. We get a warning there also, so I believe that we are not permitted to be there either. No, that worked excellent. Perhaps the warning is for something else then. However, this was the uh, the the place where now now we actually started a test server there uh, for the mod VSGI on port 8000. Uh, if I want to create my own VSGI application now, uh, what I should do first of all is to get a framework uh, that will allow me to create a web application in Python. Um, one of those is called Bottle, which I prefer very much for a simple application, and I will show you. It's this one. The uh, this one is very simple, easy to use, and I like it very much. I haven't explored it yet, but I just a little, and I already like it a lot. And we are going to download this and to create an application and to use it with our mod VSGI Express. So basically, first we need to get the framework, and this is done with pipe install bottle and the bottle is installed now I'm going to create the file which is the web application what which we could normally call a VSGI application for example <clears throat> so I'm going to use the command vim which is my favorite editor one of those uh, vsgi.py I would call this file which is a module and um, and then I simply run from bottle import bottle the class the application class and then I assign a variable called app equals bottle which will instantiate an object there and um, now we want to create the first route which is uh, the root of course and that is done with this uh, decorator we create a route and uh, this should point to the route location and we define a function right under it I can call it route for example uh, one, two, three, four, okay. this should return when the visitor hits the route page it should return welcome to my bottle app if I want to add additional route, I do like this at app.route, and then we can call it info. And then define this, we can call this function, um, for example, let's call it info. And then uh, it's, uh, I'm making four spaces there if you want what I was doing. And uh, then I return. Welcome to, no not welcome, this is the info page of Bottle Server. Alright, uh, and then if I want to bind this to the mod VSTI to be launched with the 
uh, with the mod VSGI Express. Uh, I simply type application and I sign that to be application, should be to the app, just so, so I spell right. This should be everything now to make this simple uh, mod VSGI work with the bottle app. I save that one and now I do the same that I was using the command mod VSGI express start server uh, but instead I should add the file somewhere I think uh, let's look in the documentation what it says um, mod VSGI start server okay it should arrive after there so here uh, what do they call it VSGI.py Let's see if this works. Let's see here. Now I go back to this and I... It works perfectly. So we are arriving to the root page now of our application. If I want to see the info, I just slash info. That's pretty awesome, right? Uh, okay, let's change the port of this server. If I try to... Um, I'm not sure if this is a bug or something, um, but uh, it says that if you use the use the route and you change the port to a port that's already occupied, uh, it should take over that port. But I'm not quite sure if this uh, this works. Perhaps it's just I think it's me doing something wrong. I haven't figured it out yet, to be honest. And um, <clears throat> so uh, I want to change the port to port eighty. Uh, this long command, as you can see here, I do like that, so I get the shorter one. This long command here, I want to continue uh, with adding the port, should be 80, but this I think will fail for sure. Yeah, it says that no listening sockets available. Uh, I believe that, this. I'm not sure if this is the best solution, but what you actually can do is to type Apache 2, CTL if you don't want to use the ordinary Apache and just stop it and then you can assign it to port 80 without any problems as I did there now I think we should reach it on the standard port and we do so without problems slash info yeah it works pretty cool huh so this tutorial um, is uh, more about like how you can use the mod VSGI, mod VSGI Express because I think that it's really a cool feature. I have to explore it more. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I didn't set it up in an optimal way. I'm sure that you can do it much better than I do and I hope so. <laughs> uh, but I just wanted to show you that this exists and how you can use it and how easy you can just publish an application with it. I'm not pretty sure how it works with if you can put these type of uh, things in a virtual host way, I'm not sure about how that works. But for sure that you can use virtual host if you use it, if you configure your server the hard way, the manual way, with the mod VSGI, uh, without the express mode, which we will cover in another tutorial. Uh, but uh, if I get any more information about this, I'm sure that I will... Uh, uh, that uh, that I will make another tutorial about it or even make it better if I want to change some things that were not good enough. Uh, I hope this tutorial was uh, useful and uh, and stay tuned for more tutorials.